Tonight, voters in Dublin got to hear from Senate candidate Herschel Walker on the campaign trail. He's facing off against incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock alongside the Senate hopeful tonight, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who warmed up the crowd. Anthony Montalto was at the rally tonight at the market on Madison in Dublin. He tells us what Herschel had to say. Well, they're packing up now and the bus is about to roll out, but just a couple of hours ago, this whole plaza was full of people who came to support Herschel Walker in Dublin and hear what he had to say before election day. I even met people who came from Wrightsville. A large crowd greeted Herschel Walker and Ted Cruz in downtown Dublin, part of the sea of people in the market on Madison, Taylor Outlaw from Danville. She was there with her son Weston. The rising cost of inflation, um, gas is insane, trying to go to work and make a living. In his speech, Walker echoed the same, blaming Senator Raphael Warnock and other Democrats for rising prices. After two years after being into office, you see where we're at today? This inflation, you see what he's doing in our police, but let me talk about our military. He questioned the use of people's preferred pronouns in the military next. Senator Warnock and Joe Biden are talking about bringing pronouns in our military. Do y'all know what pronouns are? I don't even know what pronouns are. Walker moved on to green energy in the military, talking about the potential of war and not being prepared. China not talking about gassing up a tank, a fuel in a tank in a desert with electricity. They're talking about war, and we're talking about the green agenda. The green agenda? Are you serious? Another main point, Walker's stance on abortion. He recapped part of his debate with Senator Warnock. I believe in life. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe in life. And he said, Herschel, you know what? You know, a patient and a doctor cannot be in the room with the government. And I said, sir, you forget there's a baby in that room, too. He forgot about that. There's a baby in that room, too. Also in Walker's speech, his opposition to President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness policy and his desire to keep funding law enforcement. In Dublin, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. A campaign staffer told us Walker will go home tonight to Wrightsville to spend time with his family before hitting the road tomorrow.